Yeah! We did it! <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. Hey guys, Celtic Jolting back into action, and welcome back to Banjo and Kazooie. In the last episode, we did a little bit of the swamp area, and as you can see, we are outside of it now. Uh, that's because every time I load the game up, it loads me back at the beginning. Um, but the reason I started this episode here rather than in the middle of the world is because we have access to these boots now, which means we can walk in this water. So there's a secret, I think, at the very, very end. I think there's a tunnel or something. It might unlock a new world, but I'm not sure. Hold up, let's check. Yeah, because normally when you walk in that water, piranhas eat you alive. I'm surprised this power-up is lasting so long. It's never lasted this long before. I guess it's just these para boots specifically. Bop! Yep, knew it! <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're, we're going to finish the um we're going to finish the swamp level, don't worry. I just figured I'd come here while I while I was here and uh fill this up. Uh yeah, we have plenty of puzzle pieces. We have enough jigsaw pieces, I think, to beat the game. Um which is wild to me. Um but uh if you're new to the channel, we do completionist runs here. So that's what I plan on doing. Uh, let me just get back into this swamp world, uh, world for you guys. Alright, let's get back in this world. Uh, in the last episode, I even made it a point. Uh, in the last episode, the, um, turtle, if you guys will remember, uh, I can't remember what his name is, but the turtle, um, oh, do I have to redo this again? Did I finish this? I don't think I did. I think I have to redo this. Man, that's lame, yo. Yeah, yeah, I know how it goes. But, uh, the turtle in this world, you can actually go inside his mouth. Um, which I had forgot about. Um, I do remember it, but I forgot about it, specifically. <laughs> uh, but we do need to kept, catch up on these crocodiles, because once we feed all, however many of them there are, we get a jigsaw piece out of it, so. Where was he? He was up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after him, we'll go to the turtle, see what he has in his mouth over there. Oh god, I almost got eaten alive! No, please! Oh my god. It's so slippy! Okay, this is not where we want to go. Oh god, the controls, the camera. It's the it's the camera, really. The controls aren't that bad. Okay, so... Do we want to go with the forward egg or the backwards egg approach? Bonk. <laughs> I just got it back. Oh, am I supposed to shoot? Oh, God. Oh, so he don't hurt me. I can get as close as I want. I don't know why I was getting so scared then. <laughs> All right, real quick. Oh, and we can get the... Oh, no, we can't get the Jingo. I know what we have to do to get the Jingo, though. So don't worry about it. Well, I'll show that off in this episode as well. Um, the, this is, I think, by far, like, throughout the whole game, I think this is my favorite. How do I butt slam again? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is my favorite world. Um, and you guys haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited to show you. Alright, here he is. Let's just finish this guy off real quick. Nope. Damn it, I miss every time. There we go. Awesome. So, the last one's next to, like, a fort thing. Um, I'm trying to remember where that was. Uh, I think it's to the right where the crocodile is up here. But, we're gonna go help our buddy over here. Whatever he's got lodged in his throat. Or whatever's in there. I, I forgot what what is inside of him. I don't even remember going into his mouth. Oh, that's a bit better. I don't know why you can't just pull your feet in yourself, man. Why do you have to have me fucking butt slam them? Alright, buddy, here you go. Now let me in there. Hopefully your breath doesn't stink too bad. God, we just walk in his mouth. What? Oh, dude, I remember this! It's like a, it's like a memory game. Okay, bet. 
Uh, let me just see if there's any note pieces on the left side of this room. Yes. Okay. Hello, conductor. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. <laughs> Alright. Red. Purple. Pink. Kind of short, isn't it, Shell Boy? <laughs> well, we'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Uh, red. Purple. And then pink. <laughs> yeah, that was super easy. I don't know why we use violence and everything. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Blue. Yellow. Dark blue. Red, yellow. Blue, yellow. Dark blue. Red, yellow. Yellow. Dark. Nope. Come on. Depth perception. Don't fail me now. Red. And then yellow again. Yeah. This is baby shit. Almost like this game was made for kids or something. <laughs> ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. I don't remember asking for lessons. Blue, red, uh, pink, red. Blue, red, pink, red, blue, purple, blue. Blue, red, pink, green, blue, nope. purple, blue. Whew. Yellow didn't get to play at all. I don't even know why yellow's here. <laughs> Magnificent! A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found uh, earlier. Okay, my band director never rewarded me with uh, giant golden um, jigsaw pieces, but that's cool. Teach their own, I guess. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. <laughs> You're not even playing music, dude. I mean, they're all just like so mono. <laughs> They're so monotoned that it doesn't even sound like music. It just sounds like cries for help. That's it for this area, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go finish that, um... That one cro Oh, God, I almost landed in the muddy water there. Uh, we'll finish that one crocodile with the egg. Um, and I bet you guys are wondering what this big, giant crocodile head is here for. Is it alive? What does it do? Who knows? <laughs> You know, I never knew if it was alive or not. It looks like it is, but then again, everything in this game looks like it wouldn't be alive, so... Uh, I actually don't need these boots right now. Yeah, hate to say it, but... Oh, yes I do, yes I do. I very much need these boots right now. Oh, God! Oh, I made it, thank God. And this thing is gonna hit me, yep. Jesus. I'm starting to lose health, like, really bad. That is not good for my for my image. Yay, Jinko! No, grab the pole, you fucking swine! Damn it, you were right there. Is this, is it just me, or is this world, like, a lot harder than what I remember? Am I really that bad at video games? <laughs> I remember running through this game like it was a breeze, like, all the time. Like, oh, I lost health? Well, okay. Yeah, but now it's like, man, I, I gotta kind of be careful. Man, I was a, I was a talented kid or something. Oh, that well, isn't that just fucking great? All right, be still, you. Got him. What? I gotta go all the way back to the turtle? I just came from there. It would have been, would have been a lot easier if you would have just spawned there first. Yeah, I don't need those boots. I can make this jump. Ah, damn, this thing. Oh my god, I'm dying. That thing, like, barreled me off. There we go. Man, my timing is impeccable. <laughs> yeah, another jigsaw. How many we got for this world? I think that's eight, right? Oh, seven. So we still have three more to get. Er, I, I like to lead these Let's Plays on, like, nobody's ever played this game before. And you may... I find that, like, a little ridiculous. Like, everybody's played Banjo-Kazooie, right? But there are actually, like, plenty of people who have never played this game. And I'm like, man, 
how did you miss this? You know what I mean? It's like, if you had a Nintendo 64, you had Banjo-Kazooie. Okay, we can't get through there. Oh, here we go. This is like a giant maze, I remember this part. We gotta get all the jigsaw pieces. If you miss just one, you can't go back for it. Okay, there's more boots up here. I was about to say, there's no way it's gonna make me run this whole maze without... with only one pair of boots. Oh, we're running low again, bro. Oh, jigsaw time! This is a nice little intermission. <laughs> oh, great, so it's just a balancing act? Fuck me. Oh, no. Oh, man, the timer is... <laughs> the timer is so stress-inducing. I'm not good with depth perception. That's my main issue in video games, is depth perception. Um, like, the reaction time is... Like, also, my aim is really fucking garbage, but... Aside from that, it's depth perception. Okay, how do I make these boots go away? Okay, I hold... LT and then X. Good to know. I need there's something back here. You have the last lice pe or life piece I need. Lice piece. No, nobody wants any lice pieces. <laughs> so you guys may be wondering, well, how do I get out of here? Do I take the boots all the way back? Hmm. Oh, hold on. I want to check and see if there's something on top of this building. There usually is. On oh, my part core skills are not as good as they used to be. Oh shit, we can just climb on top of the maze. That's dope. Alright, cool. So what do we get transformed into this time? We need 10 mumbo tokens. Bro, I am way ahead of you, bro. I got 22. Count them. That's almost two times. That's more than two times. <laughs> Hold on, I know I'm procrastinating real bad, but I, I gotta look for secrets, you know. See, like, there's a life piece up there. How in the world am I supposed to reach that? Ooh, I got it! I got it! Yes, okay, so now, finally, we can transform. Yeah! We get to be a little crocodile! Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. <laughs> yeah, we get to play as a little crocodile now. This is why it's... It was my favorite level as a kid, like, being able to transform into anything was such a revolutionary, uh, revolutionary idea. Um, or at least it was for me, and I thought it was so cool being able to play as a crocodile, because it's like, you can just walk through the muddy water, dude. The coolest shit. <laughs> it's like the whole level you're impervious to now. Also, you're a crocodile, so you can bite shit. Um... Also, you might have noticed this is also a crocodile, but check this out. We can go in his disgusting ass nostrils. Isn't that dope? And then there's this guy. Or I guess he lives here. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greatest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. <laughs> chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yumblies. I love that name. Come here, yumblies. Oh, I gotta press X. Shit, I forgot. I can't just raise over them. So far, I'm not doing so great. But we can actually use our... Um, our chomp to go faster, so as long as we keep spamming it. Haha, <laughs> stole it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, are you hungry? I'm eating all your yumblies. What is it, 18 to 11? Jesus Christ. Look at this guy's ass. Nope, mine. Nope, mine. 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 Ah, oh, man, you got that. Dude, the soundtrack in this game is so fucking nostalgic for me. Oh my god, where are they? Nope, nope, mine, mine. Oh, almost there. I just gotta keep stealing his. Oh my god, that was actually kind of close. 31 to 27, I should have smoked him way harder. 
Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go. No yellow, only red. Got it. Got it, Chief. Ah. Uh, he knows where they're gonna spawn, it seems like. Okay, I'll go this way. How is this easier than the last one? Okay, there's some down here. Fuck. I haven't eaten one grumbly yet, so that's good. Aiton. That's probably not the right way to say it. Man, we are smoking this dude. I wonder if he eats the yellow ones on accident. That would be helpful. Oh, nope, man. Fuck. It's just chance sometimes. I think I, I won this, though. Yeah, 28 to 21. Man, that was almost better than the last one. <laughs> bah, lucky greenie wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, reds. Reds right now. Got it. Reds, reds, reds. Reds, reds. Fuck, he got that one. It's fine. Nope. Fuck, I ate that too late. God damn. This might, I might lose this one. Okay, switch. Yep, now we got it. Come on, he can see so much more than me. Damn it! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, he's winning. He's not winning, but he's getting close. No, I messed up! Ooh, okay, we still won by two. Holy crap, that was close. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. I think I can get another star from him, right? Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge. If Greeny not scared, you must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept, or B to slide off like a slug. Yeah, uh, I I'm gonna slide off like a slug. <laughs> Look, everyone, Greeny is scurrying off. <laughs> There's nobody here, dude. <laughs> it's literally just us two. No, I got the, um, the star piece from him, so I'm not gonna fuck around with all that. I don't really care about extra lives and whatnot. Uh, that was a fun minigame, though. I really liked it as a kid. It was a lot more challenging back then. Still is pretty challenging. Uh, this game is pretty good at holding up. Ooh, we can get um, the pink Jinko here. And then that'll be all 10 pieces, right? Then all we'll need is the notes. Yeah! We did it! <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. Awesome. That means we got all the pieces in this world. Now we're just missing 10 note pieces. I don't know where they could be, but there's some back here. Oh, gold feather. Man, there's so many mumbo tokens, dude. Or whatever they're called, dude. I, I don't know what they're called. I'm just going to call them mumbo tokens. Oh my god, camera, you're killing me right now. Ooh, there's an extra life back here. You want to go? That's what I thought. <laughs> you haven't, I haven't really got to fight anything much with the crocodile. All right, on our way back, uh, we gotta find those last five note pieces. I don't know where they're at though. You know, uh, as much as I like the crocodile, he is very, very slow. <laughs> Man, I, I'm like half contemplating switching back to Banjo and Kazooie, but I know if I do, then I'll probably come across some notes that are in the water that I can't get. And that would be a pain in the ass. I think they're actually over here. Because I fought the um, the frog gang or whatever. And um, I think I remember there being like... Yeah, there's some against the wall back there. Bet. Okay, cool. Then just for the fun of it, we'll go and beat up those frogs. One more. Woo! You found all 100 notes in this world. 
Uh, well done. Thanks, bottles. <laughs> that's literally all the praise you get. That. That's it. I just, I just have a problem with wanting to collect everything. All right, so we're completely done with this world. Well, wow. I'm almost sad to say goodbye, you know. But then again, I'm not. <laughs> like, fucking... These hold up so well in my memories as a kid. But it's just like, some of these missions just seem so tedious. Like the uh, memory one. Like, back when I was a kid, that was super fun, you know? It was, like, almost challenging, and now it's just like, yeah, alright, I get it, you know? But, I still appreciate it, and it's good to come back to it. Um, I seen somebody has been working on a remaster for, um, Banjo and Kazooie. I think I might have mentioned that in the last episode. I don't know how long the game is gonna let me go as Crocodile. Um, I'm gonna head this way, because I think this is where the snow level is. But yeah, I seen somebody remastering the game, and I'm just like, yeah, it's cool and all, and it looks better, but it's like exactly the same game, and I don't know. I don't know. I think it played out. I think it's good for what it is, you know? I don't think anybody should mess with it. Man, I'm really out of my element as a reptile here. How do I switch back to Banjo and Kazooie? I could really go for not being this crocodile right now. I guess the the um, winter world isn't the next world, which is confusing. Because it was like right next to it. Oh well, we'll come back later, I guess. Once we figure out how to crush that ice boulder or whatever the fuck it is in front of the door. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never I save my cash. Oh, gross, dude. Oh. Y'all ever known anybody like that? Ever known, like, a cheapskate? Uh, I've been watching Cinnamon Toast Ken a lot here recently, and, uh, his videos are super funny. You should check them out. But, um, I, I'm shouting out some channel that's, like, millions of views over me. Anyways, um, Mumbo Magic, get weak. Okay. That's fun. Magic run out. Okay. <laughs> But, um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I, I've been watching uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken, and he does videos on, like, quarters and, um, uh, To Catch a Predator and, uh, like, America's Biggest Cheapskates, and it just baffles me how people will throw so much sanitation out the window, like, their own well-being just to save some money. Which, in reality, they would probably have to pay more for the hospital bills because of the infections they probably get from their disgusting ass houses. It could, it could never be me, dude. <laughs> it could never be me. So I don't think we've been to this area before. 260 notes. Oh, bro, I have that. I have that, bro. Um, I wish I knew how to get on top of um, Grunty's head here. Yes, hello, unhelpful fairy. Good to see you again. Because her hat exploded, right? So, shouldn't there be a way for me to get up top there? Maybe I'll get a um, flying pad somewhere down the line. But let's see what this next world is before we end the episode. Oh yeah, 394 notes. The only six notes that I'm missing so far is from the Clanker's Cavern. Um, I don't know where they could be, but I'll look for them off camera, probably. Okay, I don't remember this world at all. Maybe I, I think I faintly do. It's definitely Egyptian themed, but <laughs> it's like bears instead of cats. Can I break these? Let's see. Yeah, that was actually really easy. <laughs> okay, so there's some boots there. Good to know. He's taking some notes. This pot here, not sure what it does. It's us here. Oh, hello there. You look tough. Never mind. <laughs> Man, you guys are lame. You're gonna have to step up your game. Bonk. What does that do? Oh! Is that how we get in the world? Or is that just like some extra little 
jigsaw we can get. Hold on, we'll do this real quick and then I have to end the episode because I don't have a lot of time today. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, that's how we do it! Oh, that's awesome, dude! Neat! So I think there are uh, 10 total jigsaw pieces in the overworld that you can find. Um, and then 10 in every other world, but... That's going to have to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed Banjo and Kazooie, leave a like down below and comment if you have any other game suggestions. And please don't forget to check out the merch fundraiser. Uh, there is a donation link down in the um, description. I'm wanting to get that merch out at around Christmas time, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, unless we meet our donation goal, which is $412. We got $40 raised. Um, even if you don't check it out and even if you don't donate any, um, you can check, you can click the link just to see what the merch looks like, and whenever it does release, uh, whenever it does release, the shirts will be $30 a piece, um, but it, the, the highest bidder will get a free shirt, um, don't have time for you, sorry, feel free to check that out, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.